Hey guys, what's up? It's Dom. I play guitar in Broadside. Uh, we're currently on the Into the Raging Sea tour, our first ever headlining tour, and I'm going to be showing you some of my gear. So my primary guitar that I use uh, is this GNL Fallout. Um, I love this guitar. I've uh, been touring with this guitar for, I don't know, maybe the past six, seven years. Um, I'm super stoked on it. I'm a really big fan of GNL. I just like the way that they play and feel. This has a P90 and um, a pickup, just the standard ones that come uh, in the guitar. Uh, but something that I do like about this is it is coil tapped. So when you pull that lever, this splits into a, a single. Um, this is just a tone knob. I'd say 95% of the set, I play volume full uh, tone just at 100% without the uh, coil tap. And I play with the bridge pickup. And I would say on this tour, maybe there's two songs out of our 14 song set that I play with my uh, neck pickup instead because I, I just like the way it sounds. Um, but I do not coil tap that at all. Because you can't actually. We just uh, use Ernie Ball. I use the wound, the ones that come with the wound third, or not the wound third, the powered third. It's just a thicker um, string. Uh, I think I use 1152. Uh, we play in uh, drop C sharp, um, and I actually want to up the string gauge that we use just uh, so they're a little bit tighter when we're playing. This is the other guitar that I am um, currently touring with. It's a Made in Mexico Fender Jazz Master. I love it. I've had this guitar for, what year is it? I've had this guitar for 12, 15 years. Um, it's one of my favorites. I record pretty much all of our music with this guitar. I just don't like playing with it as much on stage when I don't have to because it is a bit heavier. But one of my favorite things about this is I swapped out the um, bridge uh, pickup for this Les Paul humbucker. It's just from, it's not from a fancy Les Paul. It's, <laughs> it's from like a, you know, just a random uh, run of the mill one. And I just had an extra line around. So I swapped it out. So this thing really rips now. I use all of the same string gauges. These are Ernie Ball's powered third as well. Uh, and then this guitar is also set up in uh, drop C sharp. So it is a true backup, but I will say I uh, broke a string the other night uh, while we were playing in Denver. So I did have to play a, like a majority of the set with this. I popped the string on the GNL probably three strong, uh, three songs in. So yeah, this is, I, I typically only use this as a backup, but uh, that's on tour. At home, this is my primary guitar. I uh, want to first shout out um, Gator Cases. Um, they make a case specifically for uh, Line 6 Helixes. Um, it's pretty simple if you've ever used like an amp profiler. Uh, you just plug it in and it has all of your amps, uh, cab simulations, pedals, everything. Uh, we were doing tours a few years ago with some, you know, some bigger bands, and we were all still using. I have a Marshall 900 or JCM 900 at home, and we were using all uh, tube amps, and they they were kind of just one day like, "What are you doing? Why are you still lugging that shit around?" We all use stuff like this, and one of them uh, led me onto this and I said, well, if it's good enough for them, it's <laughs> more than okay for me. I think my uh, go-to show file that I have set up, it, I have a, a Friedman amp uh, profile and I have it running through uh, like a Celestian uh, V30 cab. That's for my dirty tone. Uh, for my clean tone, I, I just use a, a Roland, um, uh, one of those Roland Jazz choruses uh, amps. Uh, I use the that for my clean tone. It's really sick. The effects that I push through this, um, they really do range, uh, really depends on the song. Uh, we have um, a song that we're playing on this tour called Seasons, uh, and I have a, a patch for that that has like a reverb, a pretty slight slapback delay, uh, a really like shimmery chorus, because uh, it's uh, I play a lot of clean stuff in that, so um, I run those effects for that song, but everything else is pretty cut and dry, just gainer normal kind of like spanky clean tone. I use the same uh, wireless receiver that um, our bass player Pat does. It's pretty simple. It's just a Shure um, and I like it because it has a tuner on it and that's what I tell myself but the truth is I never use the tuner. I always just use the tuner on the Helix which I actually don't like so I probably should just use the tuner on this. Maybe I'll mess around with that tonight. <laughs>
So this is my uh, guitar cabinet. As I previously mentioned, we used to play, you know, with Marshall uh, tube amps. When we switched to the like digital DI route, we actually stopped using guitar caps on stage. And then we'd see a bunch of videos of people right at the front of the stage and they would be uh, filming and all you could hear are drums because we had nothing on stage to uh, put the volume out. So we actually, uh, earlier this year, started touring with guitar cabinets again. Um, I've had this guitar cabinet for maybe since like 2015. Um, it is an offset 412, so uh, if, if you don't know what offset means, uh, there's speakers here, 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 and here instead of just um, like parallel next to each other. Um, I like the way it disperses the sound. Also, I just thought it was cooler to have it taller, if we're being completely honest. Um, it is made by a company that was called Massif. Uh, they were based down in like South Florida. Um, and I met the guy that was making them. I told him what I wanted and he was like, oh yeah, I would love to make that. I haven't made anything like that. So he made this just for me and then he closed his company down, I think, a couple weeks later. So this is literally a one-of-one one production. Um, it has Celestian V30s in it. Uh, it's eight ohms. I specifically asked for him to put these big handles, and uh, I put these wheels on because the wheels that were there were a little thin. Uh, but so you can tilt it back and just push it, just kind of like a, you know, like an Ampeg 810. Whenever we're loading that, we would load the van trailer up. I always was so annoyed that. Um, bass amps are so much easier to push around so I specifically asked for him to put them on my guitar cab. It's so light. It's, it's bigger than Pat's bass cab and mine is at least 300 pounds lighter which is not true but it is really light. If you want to keep up with the band at all you can go to our website it is broadsidemerch.com. Our Twitter is broadside underscore. Our Instagram is broadside official. Um, we just put out a song about a week ago called One Last Time. You guys seem to really like it. If you don't know who we are, you should listen to it. It's on all the streaming platforms. It's a pretty rocking song, frankly. Um, and that's it.